Every time, say every time. Every time, every time God does something great spiritually, he always does something great financially. Every time God does something great financially, he also does something great spiritually. That's why when we talk about the latter rain, the latter rain being greater than the former, when we talk about that, it's not just signs and wonders and miracles, but it talks about the wealth of the wicked being put into the hands of the righteous. And so the, the, the days right before the coming of the Messiah, we're not going to be a bride that's bruised, busted, and disgusted. We're going to be a glorious bride without spot, without wrinkle. We're going out the lender, not the borrower. We're going out the head and not the tail. We're going out above and not beneath. The, and, and, I, and I prophesied that coming out of the Feast of Tabernacles, we, we enter into this and it will get greater and greater and greater. Rabbinical prophecy is that the Gentiles who see this and the Gentiles who are a part of this, they will never go through the valley again, but they will go from glory to glory to glory, and that literally our best is not yet to come. Our best is here right now, and it's just gonna keep getting better. Can I have an amen? Now, here's the key, and we won't take time to read it, but in Genesis chapter 12, God is speaking to Abraham. Now, now listen to what I'm saying. Hear this, I pray with a prophetic voice. God says in Genesis chapter 12, he said, concerning the land of Israel, I will, I, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sitkanu, Jehovah Mekadesh, I who am the God of everything. I am who the God who brings water out of a rock, who brings manna from heaven, who causes someone to walk on, on the waters. I am the God who never breaks my, never breaks my word. Right? I never break my word. And in Genesis 12, God says concerning Israel, I will bless those who bless Israel.